What's going on boys and girls, Bran here today back with another video for Genshin. Just a quick little disclaimer before we start this one. I had a couple of comments on the previous video, letting me know that I was talking to chat during cutscenes. It is something that I'm working on. You might see it slightly during this video, but trust me what I tell you, I'm not missing anything in the cutscenes. I can see the game on both of my screens and I can also hear the game at all times. I did work on it however, and I've gotten a lot better at it in episodes going forward. So I appreciate you guys letting me know. I will continue to work on it. Bear in mind I am a very new YouTuber and I've been streaming for three years, so it's quite a change to get used to, but I promise you I will get better. I really hope you enjoy this video and the one after this is a pretty big one, including the end of the Archon quest. Now enjoy what's coming up. It's about to get spicy. <sighs> If you're borrowing a book, please register it in the log. It will. The restricted section is currently not lending any books. I'll take all oh, the books. It's you, little cutie. It's so good to see you. More refreshing than a strong cup of tea in the afternoon. Clearly you're meant to be working, but you don't seem to have your heart in it at all. Uh, I mean, other than Jean. She called me a cutie. Who really works that earnestly anyway? Others work hard too. So, did you have something you needed? <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I just wanted to Ooh, see you. a smooth talker. Not what I was expecting. So, Miss Librarian, got any books to recommend? Yeah, books. Hmm. Recommended books. Sadly, everything I'd personally recommend is all in the restricted section. What's with your ominous tone? Yeah, tell oh, her, on. Right. Would you be interested in checking out the Devat Travel Guide? Oh, I'm getting a bit hot. I think it would be quite helpful for you as travelers oh. here. Ooh, sounds like it could be helpful. Do you think we could take a peek? Yeah, can we? <laughs> I suppose I can try to find you a copy from the list. That'd be nice, Lisa. Isn't this Lisa's job? What does she mean, I suppose? <laughs> Those thigh eyes, though. Oh. oh, dear. That's unfortunate. No. A copy is currently being borrowed. That said, it is now overdue. Come to think of it, quite a few of our books are now overdue. I really wish people would just return their books on time. True librarian. Whoa, is Paimon imagining things, or does the air in here suddenly feel a lot more electrified? Oh no, it's giving me goosebumps. <sighs> Such a pain. I'm going out to bring those unreturned books back. I'll come with you You'd to protect you. You'd rather get your hands on that copy of the Tavat Travel Guide sooner. You'd better come with me. It's really scary right now. Paimon thinks it would be best if you answer her. Oh, uh, yes, yes! You really are such a considerate cutie. Let's see. First, we can go to the souvenir shop. It's called With Wind Comes Glory. So let's meet there shortly. <laughs> okay. I gotta pee, chat. I gotta pee. Cutie, you're here. Stop calling let's me cutie. Begin, shall we? Okay. Uh, Marjorie, we got the book you borrowed. Hello, Marjorie. Any exciting new items in stock? Oh, God. Why so surprised? <laughs> Andy. Today is such a special day. It's only natural that I'd want a souvenir to remember it by. So this is a date now? Oh, is that how you see it? I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. At your age, these kinds of fleeting fantasies are normal. <laughs> Well, if it's a souvenir you're after, you're in the right place. I'm sure you'll find something that strikes your fancy, Lisa. Or you could let your new friend pick something out for you. Make it more of an occasion. Yes, yes, let us pick. I just got friend zoned. All right, then. Take a look around. There's sure to be something she'll love. Choose a gift for Lisa. Wait, what? Ooh, why are these question marks? Hey, old school. This is a historical relic retrieved from some ruins by one of the Adventurers Guild. Oh god. I'm sure there's a bit of wear and tear, but this thing in the painting must be well over a thousand years old. Though it doesn't make much sense to me. Are you sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. Um, I think I'm... Ah, uh, yeah, I'm sure. I, I think she'd like that. I think she'd like you that. You clearly know a treasure when you see it. Goodness, is that the time? <sighs> Marjorie, one last thing. About the legend of Vanessa. Oh, so you're a fan of the gallant lady Vanessa too? Yes. Why didn't you say so? Apparently. I have all sorts of items I could recommend. For example, this lion's tooth pendant with Vanessa's name carved into it. It was once a medal awarded to a knight by the great lady herself. 
Wow, that's actually hmm. kind of sick. That's kind of cool. The library book you borrowed. Oh, God, yeah, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Oh, my goodness. I do apologize. I got so excited when you mentioned Vanessa. <laughs> I didn't know that book was overdue. I can't believe I didn't put two and two together as soon as I saw you here. <laughs> here you go. Okay. Well, since you look up to Lady Vanessa so very much, please be more punctual next time. Yes, Lisa. I will be Lisa. Did Let's go and find the next overdue book. I feel like everybody loves Lisa. But also everybody's terrified of Lisa. Uh, okay. Let's go talk to Sarah. Welcome Sarah. to Good Hunter. Table for two? Three. Oh, <laughs> my apologies. Please sit wherever you like and call me over once you're ready to order. Okay. So we're going to eat first and bring up the book situation later? Sure. Why, of course. The stress of work really takes the pleasure out of eating, don't you think? Why is she so stressy? Get Paimon on the high chair. But that'd be so cool. That'd be so adorable if Paimon actually sat in a freaking high chair. Let me sit down and talk to Lisa. <sighs> Uh, Why don't you order us something, cutie? I'm ever so curious to know what your tastes are. Pick a dish that Lisa will like. Oh, God. We'll do a I radish soup. I imagine that making a good vegetable soup takes good quality ingredients. At least, those are the principles that apply when one is making potions. But from what I've heard, soup making was a popular pastime among the witches of the past. Finished ordering? Sit here. Let's dine together. A truly enchanting dish. Certainly a good fit for a witch. I am simply brimming with elemental energy after that. Oh. Uh, Paimon's <laughs> so full. What is Paimon? Time getting on. I suppose I should carry on with this ghastly thing called work. Let's have a little chat with Sarah about her library book. Oh, shit. True. I forgot about the library book. The thing that we are here for, and I forgot about it. Oh, God. Would you like to order something else? Uh... No, thank you. We're quite satisfied. But I'm afraid I must ask you about the boar princess. The boar brisket? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I'm sorry. I think we took that off the menu. It but... means the book you borrowed. Oh, of course. <laughs> I came straight to the restaurant after I borrowed it and completely forgotten that I even had it. Okay. I'm so sorry, Lisa. It's I will fine. bring it to the library myself as soon as I finish work. Hell yeah. What a good lady. <laughs> okay, then. But make sure you don't forget this time. Forgetting right. would be terrible. On to our next stop then, cutie. Oh my god. <sighs> this is our final call for the day. Couples are our specialty. Let me know what you'd like, and I'll wrap them up nicely for you. For a couple? Oh, yes. Now, which book was it that has the line, A date without flowers is a date without romance? Would you by any chance care for some flowers, milady? <laughs> Why, it just so happens that I would, my kindest cutie. Some flowers for Miss Lisa? What would you like? I'll be back shortly. Um, the Cecilia. Ah, the Cecilia. Did Miss Flora recommend it to you? Mm hmm This flower is a lot of effort to care for. I hope that I've been doing it right. Otherwise, they won't last long. Oh, God. But part of the Cecilia's charm is how precious and fragile each one is. Okay. Are you sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. I think that's a good choice. Yeah, that's a good Ooh choice. Ooh la la. Such fine taste. Ooh la la, This chat. rare flower is only found in Mondstadt's very highest mountains. If only you had picked Yellows. them for me with your own hands. Uh, they would have had twice the sentimental value. Well, maybe I will okay, one day. time to get back to business. Maybe I Donna, will one day. do you know why we're here? Back to business? My business is selling flowers. Oh, God. <sighs> Once oh. again, we see a total lack of respect for literature. The Pale Princess and the Six Pygmies. Ring a bell? Is that oh. like Snow White and the uh, Seven Dwarfs? <laughs> yes. Well... What happened was... Was... Oh no... What am I gonna do? Wait, that's... Is that a pun on Snow White and the Seven Dwarves? The Pale Princess and the Six Pygmies, dude? <laughs> that's incredible. That's incredible. Uh, Donna seems frantic. I... I lost the book. Oh <sighs> no... A while back, I realized it was almost due, and I was getting ready to bring it back to the library. But I couldn't find it anywhere. I looked for days, but nothing. Well, at least she's being it's honest. It's like somebody stole it. It should have been there on my bedside table, right where I left it. Uh-oh. 
Pet Lisa does some crazy things when she gets mad. I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it really was stolen, Donna's done nothing wrong. The blame lies with the book thief. Okay, and good. And their punishment will be three. No, ten times worse than stealing my book. Like Paimon said, totally crazy. How do we find the lost book, though? Oh, don't worry about that. As long as I remain librarian, not a single book will go missing for good. Okay. I put a unique elemental marker on each book. Our thief will have left a nice set of clues for us to follow. When did Lisa start taking her job so seriously? Uh-oh. Paimon always thought she was a total slacker. What if it was me? Hey, sweetie, I've heard your elemental sensitivity is very strong. Why not see what you can do? Looking at the elemental traces, it does seem likely that the book was stolen. Okay. So Donna didn't do anything wrong after all. It's not from the restricted section, so it's hardly a book worth stealing. Hmm. Whoever wanted this book so badly had a strange fixation indeed. A strange fixation with Snow White? So, what do we do now? The elemental traces are very faint, but I can tell that the thief took it beyond the city walls. Okay, Lisa. You must see it too, right, cutie? Yes. Let's follow the trail and have a look where our thief was headed, shall we? Oh my god, chat, it's Timmy. <laughs> Wait, is this a combat one? Blow up four exploding barrels within 20 seconds. Hello? That's irritating. My god, okay. I don't even care if I take damage. We just want to do it. Excuse me? The thief lives inside ruins? Mondstadt people do have some strange quirks. What the hell? Please do not jump to such a preposterous conclusion about the living habits of Mondstadt's residents. <laughs> this seems far more likely to be the work of some none too friendly troublemakers. The Abyss Order. It's like you can read my mind. This I can. is more likely to be the Abyss Order's doing. They do seem to have a way of slipping in and out of places like ghosts, after all. Interesting. Also, there's an elemental seal at the entrance. It looks like the result of an abyss mage's magic. A seal? How are we gonna break it? Is this gonna turn into another huge ordeal? Not to worry. If you think a little magic can keep me out, think again. Why is that? Hmm. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, Lisa. Come on. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> so this is what Lisa's like when she's hard at work. Paimon's reactions are so adorable, chat. Ugh. Uh, have a fantastic rest of your day. Hey, look! It's an abyss mage! Lisa was spot on! I actually didn't see that harbor the first time. From whence you came, forth my plan. Yeah. Okay, Motion go, go, go. Easy. Uh, maybe, Savage. You have to obliterate them. Find this place? It's so well hidden. I have no interest in finding out where you little rascals hide Appreciate yourselves it, away. Cedric. But I do want my book back. Tell me, how is it that you have the time to conceal your stronghold and apply a magic seal, but not to sign out a library book in the proper <laughs> manner? You have no respect whatsoever for other people's work. The voice is wild. You, you just want the book? I was unaware that anyone in Mondstadt was concerned with unearthing the secret hidden inside this book. What? Oh, who are you? The librarian. Although I believe that should be quite clear already. Wow, okay, Return at least it's badass. This is an ultimatum. <laughs> Since you insist on concealing your identity, I have all the less reason to give you that book. She's beat all this. After all, it contains the secret. Huh? W what are you doing? Such concentrated elemental power! Oh, God. P please don't! Wait. After using up all of Lisa's patience, the abyss makes Lisa's cautiousness to the SUA. What? Lisa's so terrifying. Hmm. 
Naughty boys who don't do what they're told need a little punishment to keep them in line. Oh, uh, a little punishment? <sighs> this is why I call it troublesome work. Uh-huh. We'll just need to find the book ourselves. It should be around here somewhere. Capital punishment? Oh, no. It's the Pale Princess and the Six Pygmies. Oh, we found Grandma it. Grandma remembers that name. Is this the one you were looking for? That's the one. I would have probably have needed to dish out a little taste of one of my potions in that case. Ah? Uh, oh, God. Then again, as I said, it isn't from the restricted section, which is the only reason I would let the average citizen borrow it in the first place. Maybe it should be. It doesn't be. appear to have any abnormal elemental properties, save for the markings I put on it. Yeah, it seems like just an average storybook. Oh, uh, how mysterious. I'm so curious. As far as my duties as a librarian go, my troublesome work is finished. Okay. Since this book has piqued your interest, why don't I let you borrow it? Please don't punish me if I return it late. <laughs> There's no time limit for you. I will register you as custodian rather than borrower. This is an exclusive privilege uh... reserved for trusted citizens only. Exclusive privilege? Why does Paimon feel this is just your sneaky way of offloading your troublesome work onto someone else? Uh-huh. Excuse me. Are you in some way dissatisfied with my work? Uh, I will take extra special care of this book. Good. You are amenable to reason, then. Oh, my poor heart. I do wish I could keep you by my side as my personal assistant. My work here is done. I'm going back. Don't forget to register at the library when you have a spare moment. Okay, Lisa, where are you? Oh, there you are. returned. The paperwork is done. You are now the custodian of this book. Thank you, Miss Lisa. Paimon thinks we're forgetting something. The tape, uh, re remuneration. You are a voracious one, aren't you? Uh -huh. Look, over there on the shelf. Isn't that the Tavat travel guide? <laughs> and look how many copies there are. There's a lot of them. <laughs> The Tavat Travel Guide is a serial publication. It is not part of the library's formal collection. Oh? Oh. Take one. Consider it your compensation for being Lisa's little helper today. I really feel like I am Paimon sometimes. My troublesome work was a little less dull than usual. Uh, of course hmm. it was. The Tavat Travel Guide was just bait to get us to do a day's work. As compensation for dragging you into all this bother, take these Paimon souvenirs. is all of us. Wow! I get souvenirs. Lisa went and bought us some special souvenirs. In fact, they were intended for our next outing. But never mind. We can discuss next time's activity when the time comes. I hope you are looking forward to it. Oh, I am <sighs> so looking forward to it, Lisa. Get some sleep. <laughs>